Hot damn, here we go with another good one. Yeah. 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 Warning, we're just having fun. If you take stuff too serious, this channel may not be for you, buddy. Holy hell. Well, the other day we hit 50K. 50K subscribers. Celebrate. I don't even I don't even want to say celebrate guys because the goal is a hundred thousand So you don't stop halfway through a race and act like you're done to celebrate Unless you participate in eighth mile drag racing, then you're used to stopping halfway through the race Calm down. I'm not into drag racing. It was just a joke. All right. Let's say I'm in a mile mile run I'm gonna stop at 800 meters or whatever the hell it is and be like Boy, I did a good job on this first half, didn't I? I'm gonna keep running my little ass off till I finish. But I do appreciate y'all supporting and getting the channel to 50K, so here's what we're gonna do. One, we've got a new t-shirt. It's available for pre-order today. Should be like what? It's the day of the night? Hell, it's gonna run to the 25th. On the 25th, I'm gonna close out pre-orders for this shirt, all right? You'll never be able to get another one of these. This is the 50K celebratory you can only get it once, sure. All you gotta do is go to www.puddingsfabshop.com and it'll be available for pre-order. Like any pre-order, after I close it out on the 25th, I'm gonna get it to them. It takes about three to four weeks to get them back from production, then I ship them out to you guys. This shirt's gonna be available in black or gray, so if you're one of the guys who don't like my black t-shirts because they're hot, here, have a gray t-shirt. If you're built like a brick house in 7'6", you may just wanna go see if your size is on there. It may be there, you may be surprised. Now we gotta get to some work and quit talking about t-shirts and 50k. I do appreciate you guys, but we gotta get our butts to work. I know I told you guys we weren't gonna roll into more Dotson work, that we were gonna go drag home some junk cars, but guess what? My uh, favorite honey hole, I no longer have access to right now. I got up yesterday, put the toolbox on the trailer, got the winch on. I got everything ready where we could go drag home some junk cars. It's coming out pretty sweet. This will be in a future video, so don't worry. But as you can see, that trailer's empty. We didn't get no junk cars, because we can't. Now, we did do some work on the Little Dotson, which the video's doing very well. Thank you guys for all the comments and the support to make that video do well. Keep it up. You guys are crocking and whooping ass. We've got an engine in here that's disassembled from that. I've got a complete engine back there from the parts rig we drug home. We may have been a little rough on that one. Believe it or not, in all my free time, one, I don't have the time, two, I don't really have the will. I don't even want to mess with trying to get the engine together. I want to be able to take this engine to someone where we've got a decent little engine just to throw in the truck. The gentleman who's probably going to uh, do this for us, he got a hold of me yesterday, and he said he'd like to take a little gander at him. So, we only have one day today. I need to get him the two engines where he can start rebuilding it on the side as we continue to fix the rest. So I guess it seems like a no-brainer that today's operation deliver engines. <laughs> oh, I don't know what y'all thinking. That sounds easy, huh? Yeah. Let's just say there's some variables that go with this. Like variable one, we got to get the blue truck up here so we can pull the engine. But we can't even get those back tires off that truck because I done welded that bed in place. And there ain't no way it's going to slide between that fender wheel, whatever, wheel, wheel opening 
It ain't coming out. Maybe easier for you to picture what I'm talking about if there ain't a bunch of cracks sitting in the way. Well, that bed's right where it needs to be, so do you think I want to pull that bed off and lose our mount position just to get wheels and tires? No. So step one, we got to build some bed mounts so we can take the bed off, so we can take the tires off, so we can put on the blue one, so we can bring the blue one in, so we can pull the engine. Then I think we're going to take the blue one, we're going to get rid of it because I'm tired of seeing it sitting around here. We ain't selling it. I want that thing to, well, we might have some future plans for it. I mean future future, so don't get your hopes up. Then we gotta bring the wheels and tires back, which means we're gonna have to do some backpacking later. And once we get the wheels and tires back, we can put it back on this one. <sighs> and then we can move it back where we need to be and we gotta take engines later. And I think it's gonna turn to a lot of work. If you listen to anything, we need to build some bed mounts real quick. Which means we're back to fabricating and that makes me a happy man. Yeah. Yeah. That thing's got a goofy wheel base. Oops. If you're new, last video, we cut this whole truck in half and we built a, some new frame rails and a cross member and I got everything up to this point so you may want to check it out so you ain't behind. Some of y'all seem to like my fabricating techniques, which I do appreciate you guys. Uh, here's your number one tools for me. Your number one tools for me. That makes sense. Five and three eighths. One inch. I can do this one by eyeball. My crooked eye says we need to go out to about in here. And we don't want to be further back than right in there. It's two and a quarter wide, I can work with that. We want some strength right here, so we want to drop down about an inch and a quarter. We'll intersect those. So what about something like that? It's like we need to take about an eighth inch off the top, but that'd be a fine looking mount, wouldn't it? We need four of these puppies. Now I've heard of this CAD before, but y'all taught me a new one last week when my, uh, my chalk for building these frame rails, we drew it like a little kid on the playground and y'all called it CAD the chalk aided design. I like that, that's a good one. Well, 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 let's see what we have back here. Yeah. Ah, come to daddy boy if that ain't just about the perfect width i understand you guys ain't gonna you know keep a bunch of different straps and different sizes or whatever but if there's one size i recommend you buy that you'll use a ton of two inch wide quarter inch thick i use this stuff for everything see how it all fits except that corner well that's what i think about that corner you see where that corner's at? That'll weld. Don't worry. Now we have a few very simple cuts to do that we're going to do with a cutoff wheel. And you could do that out regular plate with a cutoff wheel with a plasma, however you like. I like doing it this way. Guaranteed two nice clean edges. Excuse me while I die. Another thing is, if I do this uh, specifically, the Dotson project, I'm gonna use the grinder as much as possible. The reason I am doing that is because I don't want to hear the, ooh, well, if I had fancy tools, I could do that too. Yeah, I would do that if I had all that kind of equipment myself. But of course you can do that. Look at that fancy shop you have that's 80 years old and has crooked concrete and you're doing it with a grinder. And a tape measure? I can't afford that. Yes, you can. What you can't afford to do is keep making excuses. That's what you can't afford. Oh! We're gonna go test fit this. If it's good, it's gonna be our new template for the rest. <coughs> Did y'all see that? I got it. <laughs> One little 
little tune-up. Hell, I ain't perfect. Boom, look, one of our other cuts is already done for us again. Now we just gotta trim up this end. We gotta cut three more. Now, as much as I wish I was a robot, I'm not. So let me show y'all a trick. This bottom side we're not as worried about because that's the side that's going to the bottom. This is the side that's sticking up. We want it to look even. So look, we put those in there. Then we shove all of them together on that block. We got all of them sitting down on here. We clamp that baby. Now we know all this is matching. And we can do a little grinding up here because I am a little crooked on one. There's always got to be at least one. Someone got a little off there. Still ain't perfect, but it's a little better. We'll take it. Our mount's going to be useless without a bottom to it. So we're going to mark this an inch and a half wide here. We want it to be the length of our bottom here, so we'll just kind of sit that there and give us a little marky mark. I better be careful saying marky mark. If, if my wife hears that, she's liable to come running out here. She loves that man. Earlier I said two and a quarter across the bottom, which means halfway is going to be one and an eighth. And then half inch and a half is going to be three quarters, so we line that up and boomy. If you ain't got a spring-loaded punch, you want to get one of these units. That's from my buddy Taylor. Well, damn it, I just snapped my bit. So now if we cut this one right down the middle, cut along this edge, we'll be good to go. Now if you're thinking, hey, you kind of missed your mark there. Uh, no, I didn't, because I knew I needed to be on this front edge, just a hair forward of it. So I'm actually dead money, whether it looks like it or not. Big worn out markers aren't the best for being precise. I'm gonna cut this baby out, make one more, then we'll weld them up. Next, we need to weld these up. Now, I have these two pieces of scrap here that are an inch and a half long, but you can also do this with like a socket. And if your socket's a little short, you can add a washer and you may have to get a little creative. I'm gonna use these since I have them. Square that, boom. We're gonna try to clamp that baby. You may have to check your fit a couple times. It, it can be a little bit of a pain, but if it ain't square, you don't weld it. Keep setting it up till it looks good. We're gonna go check this on the uh, truck real quick. It looks like something like that will work just dandy. I don't know what time it is. It's time to do some welding. Knock the slag off that, because that's what's going to sit flat. That's all we got to weld it, guys. We don't even have to worry about welding the inside. Promise you'll be plenty strong. After you let them cool, that's why we do that. There's a little bit in there, but not a whole lot, guys. Perfect. We didn't warp it all crazy. It's exactly what we're after. It's a fine piece of metal work right there. Never even checked to see if a half-inch bolt could even fit down in there. We're just hoping it will. <laughs> so I kind of did some marking already, but to mount these things, well, guys, it's pretty simple. We're going to drill a hole, all right, and we're going to tap this because it's quarter inch. So that's plenty of threads. And then once we get it tightened down, we're going to weld it to that bed right there. There's something flying around in here. Hit them. I'm going to take that to the ear. That's that piece I broke earlier, by the way. We like to recycle around here. 2764. You're thinking, don't you do it, don't you do it. Well, how else are we gonna make this a, uh, what is it, half 13? I think we got our quote now. Tiny little 
little gap, but that's all right. I think it's time to weld it up. Got these babies all welded up. Pretty happy with how that looks. They are not the prettiest welds, I ain't gonna lie, guys. Uh, kinda, I, I didn't fit them up very good. There was a, my angle was off, so my gap was a little big. So th they're not the prettiest, but I guarantee you will hold the back of this bed way better than what was holding it. But we're definitely good for now to at least get these uh, supports off that was holding it. That way we can take the whole bed off so we can get our wheels off. Just plum craziness. Boom. Like those little temporary supports never even happened. Do y'all have any clue how much damn easier my life would been the last, what, four or five months if I had two sets of wheels and tires, rollers, for one of these Datsuns? How many times have I taken them off this truck to put on that truck to put on this truck to put on that truck? Now we'll take them, let's kick them down here, boom! Better go and get them and put them back on this one. We lost a wheel on tire. I was coming to get you guys. I don't know we're gonna make it through the day. I tried to go chiropractor a minute ago. He's closed. My back's killing me. We'll get her done. I'll get her cleaned up back here. It's looking like a damn pigsty. Good enough. Good enough to roll anyhow. She likes to roll too. Tow roll is the best pusher car any man could ask for, hands down. Big or small, she'll push them all. You gonna push me or laugh at me? Feels like just a couple weeks ago we were working on this thing trying to get it going. Now here we are trying to take it back apart. I guess I haven't really clarified what I'm doing on my truck, have I? Well, having this engine for my truck is the main reason why I even went and pulled this damn truck out of the salvage yard. My truck is very, 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 very lucky it's even getting put back on the road. Guys, the main reason I'm doing this whole project is to show you guys what you can do in an affordable way. I'm trying to keep this project simple tools and affordable. We're trying to do this one for a couple thousand, all right? As cheap as possible. Factory wheels and tires, keeping the goofy bob bed. Gonna refresh the motor to get it in it. Just rebuild the drum brakes, fix the brake lines, fuel lines, and we're gonna drive this damn thing. Probably gonna have to put some air management on it first, but you know what I'm getting at here. It's getting what the average guy could do on low income. There's some ambitious people out in them comments who for some reason think I'm like in love with this truck, and I like it, but I'm not in love with it. There's a few hateful comments saying, oh, I just absolutely hate that wheelbase, it's ugly. Joke's on you guys, that's a factory wheelbase. There ain't nothing wrong with that wheelbase. That's a long bed wheelbase. Bob bed's a different story. So, you know what's ugly? Your comment and your attitude. I'm just playing, I agree with you, that bed is ugly. Would I do it again as a 30 year old? No, but am I gonna change what I did as 18? No, it looks all right, we'll run it, hell. I've seen people want me to big block it, people want me to small block it, people want me to 4-3 it, people want me to put a bunch of stuff in there, I guess. I've got people want me to 4-3 swap, small block swap, LS swap, 4BT coming swap, 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 swap. I'm going to put the engine in that bolts right in. Surprise! I kind of like the idea of just keeping it a gas efficient little four-cylinder Datsun, what it was and what it is gonna be. So, 
I hope I didn't offend anyone. I'm just playing around here with my delivery, but that is the plan for this thing. I know you don't understand, but it'll be okay, all right? Oh man, how nice was that, guys? I've never used one of these, ever. I'm always having to ratchet. Mr. Harris Pe Pepper sent that thing out, and that'll spoil you right there. Damn, I felt uptown taking that out. I could get used to this. Holy hell. There we go. We're gonna need a radiator back for the little pickup. Hey, we need to think of a name for the bob bed, y'all, because I always just called it the Dodson growing up. I never had a name for it. I kind of want to name her. Make sure to get that all over your feet. Just smooth. Oh. We are pretty familiar with it underneath here because we had to pull this transmission to get all the rat's nest out of the pressure plate so we could try to tow a gooseneck with this thing. So if y'all haven't seen that video, you need to check it out. I've only got three bolts holding this in underneath here, so I'm gonna pull them real quick. Top one is, ah! <laughs> Did not mean to do that. A little harder to reach with all the cross members in here, but I still whooped it. Should be it under here. Next, we're gonna get the motor mount bolts out this puppy. Then we're gonna drop our ratchet. If I'm not holding the button, my crane lets down, so it just makes it a little tricky. Oh yeah, just perfect. I think our exhaust is what we're fighting. She's being a little stubborn. She wants to play the rodeo. But uh, push the truck back, chalk the front where it can't come forward. Hopefully we can this way some, maybe. There she went, finally, hell. like that's how it's done or not perfect I can hear people screaming no don't do it leave its old ball alone give her a smack Took out the back glass. Well, that is a whole lot of pointless work. The damn thing's welded. There. I bet we just do that and we'll clean up them cuts some other time. Whew. You never know. We may have to 
incorporate that with the new setup in the back. Damn, it's raining. Of course it is. I got stuff to do. Huh? You damn right. Guess we'd have to come up front. We want to keep the weight in front of the axle a little bit. We got. We can't get rid of this thing. This has to stay a joke on the channel, okay? Uh, if we ever do do something with this little blue Datsun, Datsun, what I'm picturing in my head, we ain't gonna be using this. Need some tie wire and a little windshield wiper arm here. See if we can't hold up that transmission a little bit. Or roll up the windows, we don't want her getting messed up out in the rain. <laughs> Slap some hair, some hair, some air in the helpers. I hate getting rained on, by the way. I reckon this is the first time using the new trailer. Kind of exciting. Since we took the engine out of that old Datsun, that my lawnmower probably weighs about the same amount. <laughs> the travel all does fine towing. I mean, I set it up with the heavy duty four link and the helper bags and stuff. But I can't wait for the day that we have that load star with that Cummins. That's gonna be just right. Brakes are overrated, by the way. But uh, if y'all didn't see the video where we got the one Datsun motor from way down back, this hill's a little vicious. There's no way the camera can pick up how hard of an angle this driveway is, but she ain't no punk. She rolls good. So I'm thinking move the mower, obviously, hit the ramps, give her a Jamaican bobsled team, like cool runnings, get going right here, just smack this, all right, and hopefully make it up there. And then a good portion is downhill towards that away another fun fact my dad lives out here in the middle of nowhere guys right here is like 25 acres now he moved to a house up here but his old house our old house is still down here and some of the damn tweakers around here done stole the ac unit out of the old trailer house and they didn't come through the driveway that means some of them tweakers carried that son of a bitch who knows how many acres so because of that guys i bought this thing quite a while ago it's a movie prop very realistic looking uh just that way you know sometimes you can scare somebody and then if they're not scared you can scream like a girl throw it and run because gun guns are scary uh so we'll just use this movie prop take it with us he didn't make it uh got my camera set up there's a spot up here i'm gonna try to hit i'm gonna try to come in right in here where there's less of a ditch so i don't knock all my teeth out End up looking like that fell over there laying on the hill. So there's my stick telling me to go. I advise absolutely nobody to try anything like this, all right? Put this prop over here. Gotta hit the ramps. Come on, baby. We're the Jamaican bobsled team. But we're one redneck in Oklahoma. Yeah! <laughs> Woo! We're going for it! We're going for it! I have no clue where I'm going! Woo! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Keep going, baby! We almost made it! We almost made it! <laughs> no! <laughs> holy hell we were ripping for a minute we were ripping i kind of freaked out guys i didn't know if there was even a path through this way i ain't never been this way oh blue for it to the bobsled come on baby let's get going down the hill don't worry about that tree don't worry about that tree Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. This is about to be rough. And I mean rough. Yeah. <laughs> Woo! Let's go. We're rocking and rolling now. Oh, hell, we made it. Oh, 
Oh, she's wet now. She's wet now. I'm having too much fun. Woo! Yeah. Oh. Boom. Oh. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm coming in hot, baby. Coming in hot. Much better spot. Oh, my legs are on fire from pushing. Oh, she's rolling backwards. Oh, hell, you tell me where you want to park then. Woo! Well, we didn't have to do no push on the lawnmower. I had to give her a couple shoves, but told y'all, whole girl here rolls pretty good. <sighs> what the hell we're getting into around here shit i thought i was shot i about pulled out that movie prop real quick that thing ain't ever backfired in its life we may build bed mounts we may pull an engine we may go bobsledding we may mow some damn grass you just never know here's another sign someone's been down here because me and dad never leave this son of a bitch half open Anyone in here? Got a movie prop for you. And there was a slide on here that would hold that and we prop it with that. So someone's definitely been in there. As you think this old poor forgotten Dotson, we saved it, now we're about to dump it. She could use a little fit up and holes filled because someone tried putting some hood scoops on his four cylinder sticking through the hood of his Dotson when he was 18. <laughs> So this is more embarrassing than the fabrication work. I cut a hole and had two frog mouth scoops sticking out the hood of this thing and it looked ridiculous. High speed! Well that was a success. The lawnmower handled the load all the way to the top. Now if we get the hell out of here we'll be good. Man, this air conditioning feels great. Don't worry, baby. It'll be all right. We're done sharing your wheels and tires for a while now. I guess we can slap the bed back on this, and then this is back where it started, I guess, except for the bed mounts. You know what I mean. Let's carry on with the video being all over the damn place and let's do some mail time. Some of y'all gonna be mad cause you're gonna be like, I know good and well I sent stuff and you didn't show it on camera. Y'all's right, I've opened like 20 packages last week and made another mail call video. I just ain't had time to edit it. So look for it coming next week. Speaking of mail and just supporting the channel in general, I've had a lot of people ask, if, ask me to make a Patreon page. Is that how you say it? It's something where you can donate to support the channel. It gives you extra benefit stuff. Guys, I ain't got time to do that. I just told you guys I could, I haven't even got to edit your mail time video. I'm so busy. So I can't put no perks or benefits on there, but it does, it's a way where you can set up to do monthly donations to support the channel, I reckon. I don't know, I, I'm new to it. This is from Joe and Bonnie Durning. Okay, buddy, this one may not be for you. Actually, this one is for your wife and daughter, so I hope at least one of them is there to help you unwrap this. One of my previous lives, I also worked in a manufacturing plant where we made hair care products mostly catering to the female trade. This is a sampling of the type items we made using blow molding and injection molding and in our some of our processing. Guys, I can't read today. If you send novels, I'm going to struggle. Hopefully the girls in your house will enjoy going through this and calling dibs every time they see something they like. Back in the mid-80s, I've become a Snap-on Tools distributor. Yeah, I was the guy that all the mechanic wives hated because we all know how expensive buying tools can be. So I figured I'd send you a small sampling of some things I gave to customers that I sold to. 
Oh, that business card is something I thought you'd get a laugh out of. Oh, brass snap, snap on magnet. Cool keychain. Another cool little keychain. And a sweet belt buckle. Look at that, baby. And a snap on racing pin. Make me look all proper. Holy hell. <laughs> After a few years, I gave up my tool truck, went to work for Snap-on Tools Corporation as warehouse manager, 1990, a year before I was born. Snap-on was celebrating 70 years in the tool making business and they came out with a very limited number of specialty made gold plated items to be given as awards to their corporate employees and to some of the VIP guests that toured the manufacturing plants. I was one of the top performing warehouse managers and was lucky enough to have received several awards that year. This ratcheting screwdriver is plated in 18 karat gold. And I figure you might enjoy having it in your collection. <laughs> Holy gold plated, <laughs> what in the world? I feel like royalty or something. Where's my Dotson crown? What you know about that gold plated screwdriver on that old red velvet, huh? This is a pimp daddy of screwdrivers right here. So I appreciate that stuff. Uh, we'll see if we get the girls out here in a little bit. This one's from Thad Mercer. I don't, it's kind of hard to read on there. Uh, new gas off. 100% non-toxic, remove gas from hands, clothes, equipment, and more. You would not believe how often I spill gas. It's too often. I spilled gas earlier taking that old tank off the front of the blue truck. We'll definitely try these puppies out. I do appreciate it. Thank you. Dad of girls. Hashtag outnumbered. Boy, if that ain't the truth. Just says Amazon and I don't see a note. So whoever sent this, thank you. Yes, y'all continue to pray for me, all right? I got the patience of a saint from living with all these women. Y'all tired of seeing me use the old crunchy battery cables or what? Looks like we got a battery cable set. Six gauge by 20 inch. You want me to start a lawnmower? Shit. <laughs> I guarantee you we'll put those to use on something. No note in this one either. Not sure who sent it, but thank you. This one's from G in San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> I think I know why you abbreviated your name. That's because G don't want to go to jail for stealing property from the city of San Antonio, Texas. <laughs> that is pretty damn cool. I don't know what we're going to slap it on, but we're, we're going to slap her on something. Look who decided to make an appearance, folks. We got Hot Rod with us. Boom! Somebody sent me all the duct, or that ain't duct tape, dummy. That's electric tape. It is a little castle. Not sure who sent that. It says Infinity Source. This one's from Justin Richards or Richardson. They put the postage label right over the top of your name. Oh my gosh, there's peanuts everywhere. What kind of magnets you put in these things? We got some skulls here. I like these. They are pretty cool. I can't even pick them up. <laughs> these are pretty cool. Now as far as the magnets, I actually need magnets all the damn time. There's stuff I want to hang up with magnets and I don't have them. So these things are definitely going to get put to use. These are pretty cool, actually. I don't know how I'm going to get... I don't know how I'm going to get these back from her. State Police, State Bureau of Identification from Maine. I can identify however I want. <laughs> Y'all got a state bureau for all the people who don't know how to identify? Can I read it? Yeah. Sorry, I was reading it. I enjoy your videos and learned a lot from watching you and various other old car revival lists. In appreciation, I have sent you one of my work patches. Maybe you can sew it on your Dotson work shirt. Say hi to the family and send Mortsky some flexi hoses. Cheers from Maine. Sweet Tony Winslow. That's old Sweet Tony, baby. <laughs> Are you making fun of me? <laughs> She's making fun of me, ain't she? <laughs> this is from Joe Stein, I believe. I think last time I said Joe Steen and I 
I made them angry. I didn't mean to. For blue 42, you mean the one we just dumped out in a field? Damn, those would have looked good on the door, wouldn't it? <laughs> that almost makes me sad. We just dumped her. Well, that's rather unfortunate. I wish I would have had those as we were trying to pull that goose neck. That would have been money. Telling y'all, don't give up hope on Blue 42 yet, okay? It may be long down the road, but I'll put these puppies in the rafters, and who knows? Don't, don't write her off yet. It just may be a year or two. Y'all did one hell of a job wrapping it. <laughs> oh, my. It's gonna be something really small. No, there it is. Okay. Yeah. Oh my goodness. Dang, you got something. Oh, mom, that's oh, really That's exciting. It's all girl type products. It's one of those clips. There you go. You said you want to see who calls dibs. They're about oh, to be a fight. I love this brush. You already have a brush. Oh. I just like my brush. Oh yeah, baby. You know what that does? No. Very cute. I don't I'll care. show you. No. Who's for dad? Oh, well, Boom. Pull the rest of this hair out. <laughs> what is this? Is this clip-on earring? No, it's a clip. It's the regular. Oh, what a beautiful earring. Let me see. <laughs> what? Oh, I like this one, actually. It's yellow. It's my favorite. Let me see. Come here. How does it go on? We can do the 80s hair with all the clippies. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who sent stuff. Uh, the girls are in there sorting the stuff. Haley knew what she wanted. She done claimed it. Uh, thanks to everyone who sends stuff, though. I think I just said that twice. It's been a long day, y'all. <laughs> Last thing to do for the day is grab most of this engine. And I was planning on running it to the old builder today. But my truck is running with a mess. I don't think we're going to quite make it. So I'm going to take him the disassembled one tomorrow. And then if he needs that one, we'll throw her in the back of the truck after I put some new plugs and plug wires on it. And we'll get him that one. He can piece this old puzzle together because it's quite the puzzle. Got all of what's left of this engine all loaded up. So thanks again for 50,000 subscribers. I'm so happy I could almost do a backflip. Yeah, I better not try no backflip. If you want one of the 50K subscriber shirts, be sure to go participate in the pre-order on my website, www.puttingsfabshop.com. As we inch closer and closer to going full-time on YouTube, merchandise is a huge way to support it. So I appreciate you guys uh, buying up the merchandise. I'll see y'all on the next one. I'm on Instagram at Puddin's Fab Shop. I don't know why I keep pointing. And don't forget, sitting on your ass won't finish your project. We had a bunch of crazy projects today. But boy, I had a freaking blast. I needed these earlier when I was ripping down them hills. I feel like a damn race car driver in old Blue 42. And then we just abandoned her. Abandoned Dotson saved from field. We may have to save it one day and we just abandoned it. Just set us up for a future video. <laughs>